to other stories and the Supreme Court dismissed a suit by the private citizen Abdul Fanash Mohammed seeking a review of the judgment ordering businessman Alfred Abishiwume to pay back the 51 million CD judgment debt paid to him. This followed a withdrawal of the suit by the applicants due to views by the Supreme Court judges showing the entire case was brought before them was frivolous. The applicants went to court in December last year to seek a review in the case where the former Attorney General Martin Amidu secured a court judgment in 2014 ordering government to retrieve the controversial 51 million city judgment debt paid to Alfred Woyume for consultancy services claimed to have been rendered during the building of some stadia ahead of the AFCON 2008 held in the country. President Mahama told journalists at the Flagstaff House on January 12 that um, Abdullah's action frustrated processes by the AG to retrieve the money from Mr. Woyume. The latest ruling by the Supreme Court paves the way for the Attorney General and Minister of Justice to start processes towards confiscating Mr. Woyume's assets and auctioning them off to defray the cost. Joining me via phone this afternoon is a leading member of Occupy Ghana, lawyer Asan Kuma. Hello, lawyer, and thanks for your time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, you have been following that a day after the judgment, processes should have been fastened or quickened enough for some action to be taken. Of course, enforcement procedures are often controlled by the successful party. It is not the court itself which will go and see somebody's office and sell to pay your debt. You must take the steps mm. and use any of the known enforcement procedures. I say for money, can you see for bank money, etc., etc. There are many of you. hope that today, at least the preliminary preparation has been done and steps will be taken to attach all of this man's assets to the extent that he has any assets so that the state can recover his money from him. Mm. Now, Mr. Wayume says that he is heading to the International Court of Arbitration. What do you make of this move of his? It's, it's ridiculous. The truth does not have been found. And you just don't get up and go for international arbitration. The International Court of Arbitration of the International Chamber of Commerce is not a court that you go and file your case at. Before you go for arbitration, the parties must have something called an arbitration agreement where the parties have agreed that in the event of a dispute they will submit their dispute to an arbitral panel why didn't you raise this arbitration point if there was an arbitration agreement when the case went to the supreme court and so let's forget about this it's just the the case of someone who is not the case mm. now, there's no international court of arbitration that doesn't hear this matter there's no arbitration pending you should just pay our money. Now, there's been a lot of back and forth regarding this Woyume case, and even as Ghanaians and business owners, you think that some lessons could be picked from what has happened, and even for our law processes? The biggest lesson is our failure to get to the bottom of this matter earlier and quicker. I believe that the system has protected officials who participated in this loss and it only shows how some of the cost cases are be. Because if the people who have certified this payment have been brought before court, even as witness, we may be singing a different song today. It shows how the system can collapse and still rise up to protect itself. We should make sure that no money is paid to anybody who can push out a contract that He's been authorized by the state to do any work on behalf of the state. This was the worst example of blatant stealing of Ghana's money. And let's hope this never happens again. All right. Thank you very much, lawyer Isan Kuma. He's also with Occupy Ghana. We're speaking to him on the Woyomi saga. You